Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds to 1000. Now in the previous tutorials we've done number bonds to 10, to 100 and 500. So this one, number bonds to 1000, is an extension of that and this is also quite simple. Okay, Let's have a look at our first example. So we've got 482 plus something equals 1000. 482 plus something equals 1000. Now there's many different methods you can use to work this out. What we're going to do is use our knowledge of number bonds to 100. Okay, So our knowledge of number bonds to 100. We know that it's 1000, so we've got three zeros. We look at number 482. Ignore the 4 at the moment, the 400. We're going to concentrate on 82. So what number do we need to add to 82 for it to become 100? Okay. In order for this to become 100, we need the 2. We need to add 8 to the 2. If we add 8, that becomes 0 correct? But then we've got 1 here. 8 plus 1 is 9. So this has now effectively become 9. For 9 to become 0, we need to add 1. Okay, So 82 plus 18 equals 100. Okay, 82 plus 18 equals 100. Now if that equals 100, I'm just going to change colors for this. What that means is that this 4, because we've taken it to 100, this 4 has become 5. Okay. Now what number do we need to add to 5 for it to become 10? Don't forget, we've got 10 over here. Okay, 10 hundreds. We need to add 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Believe it or not, that is our answer. 518. Now let's just have a think about how we came to the answer so quickly. I'm going to write it again over here. 418, sorry, 482. I'll just uh, write that again. 482, made a bit of a mess there. 482, okay? Now we need to get this number to equal 1000. But what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the 82. What number do we need to add to 82 for it to become 100? If it becomes 100, then this number becomes 500. Yeah? Now 82, we're saying that 2, we need to add 8 to it. If we add 8 and 2 together, that makes 10. So we've got to add, we have to add 1 over here. Yeah? 8 plus 1 is 9. What number do we need to add to 9 to get to 10? It's 1. 82 plus 18 is 100. And because it's 100, the 4 becomes 5. Now from 500 to 1000, all we need is another 500. So we just put down 5 over here in front of the 18. That's 518. Now that looked a little bit complicated, but it isn't. Have a practice and you'll understand how we came to the answer. Okay, let's work through one more. This time we've got the number 675. 675 plus something equals 1000. Okay, so now how do we do this? Shall we use the same method? I think we should. Okay, so let's have a look at the last two digits. We've got 675. In fact, what we'll do is I'm just going to rub this out. We're just going to go through this digit by digit. Okay, that may well be 
a useful recap. Now 5, we need to get 5 to equal 10. Okay, so I have to go to 0, but we're going to put 1 here. Okay, because the only way 5 can become the 0 over here is by adding, we're not subtracting. So what number added to 5 gives 10? The answer is 5. Now the tens, I'll just change colors for this, has now become 8 because we've made the 5 become 10. So what number added to 8 gives 10? The answer is 2. But this time we've got 1 over here as well. Now the hundreds, that's become 7. What number added to 7 gives us 10? The answer is 3. And that is our answer. 325. 675 plus 325 equals 1000. Now this looks a little bit messy, but trust me on this. Write down a three-digit number and try to work out how you can get that number to equal 1000. What do you need to add to it? And you can use either of these two methods. Okay, with a bit of practice, you'll understand this. And that is number bonds to 1000.